obviously no surprises here, but the positional shot of this is tough. To, to roll this slowly for the black is a difficult one. Yes, I think that's the reason he played it at pace and hoping to make something happen. One. He was hoping either to develop the black into an easier position or maybe move the pink into play there. I think he played it thinner and probably played into the pink. I don't think the black was in his mind. It was far too risky to play dead weight slow, but you know, there may have been some players in the game would have tried that. A path to the, the red on the left of our screens, which he has, and if he plays it, obviously he'll be committing fully unless he decides to play with lots of tops been up for the blue and try and escape should he miss but really if he misses this I would imagine he'll leave Neil Robertson something on what a shot that was <laughs> deserves better than behind the yellow um, really deserves better than that that's very unfortunate he's got a missable green now that's up there, Steve, for the top three shots of the tournament. That Stephen was an Henry excellent shot. I'm very, very unlucky, as you rightly said. From under the cushion, this was so difficult. He could only just see it. As you get a chance to swing around with Hawkeye, he can only just about see the potting angle. In any sort of left-hand side, he would have kissed the other red, so he had to hit it absolutely plain ball. Perfect pot. The long pot screwed back for the blue is very, very risky. It's a possibility though, isn't it? You can just see the red below the pink, but unfortunately you can't see it thick enough to make sure he misses the kiss on the two reds above the black. He's being aggressive here. Wow, what a shot. And once again, a little unfortunate where the cue ball's finished. I know he's playing it as a shot to nothing, but if that cue ball's two inches off the cushion, this blue's a certainty. Threading through the reds here. Very nice shot. One. Now, does he go into the pink here, will he? Interesting scenario, isn't it, Steve? Now Smashes into the pink yeah. off the brown, I think, is the shot. There's, there's three or four players in the game that might play it, and there's three or four top players that won't. Uh, Stephen Hendry usually, if he's confident, would play it, purely because the black's out of play, and it's the right shot because the black's out of play. And the blue as well. He's got to go for this. Pink smashing into it. Marvellous shot. Unlucky. But honestly, there's so many top players, Steve. I mean, obviously, when you commentate on every player, you see players that do and don't. It wasn't beyond the realm of possibility. You might not have played that. Thanks. I mean, not because it's not, you don't think it's the wrong, it's the wrong shot. It's just that players sometimes try to be careful, get 20 or 30 points, and then play the kiss. Hendry O'Sullivan, first chance. Many choices of safety shot to play here. And possibly one to get the black out and get the cue ball round behind that blue but he's choosing a much more aggressive pot come safety <laughs> fabulous the blue is definitely a little bit more easier this time this was an excellent pot and uh, the reason players p risk a shot like that, they know they're going to get a relatively good white. They'll know they'll leave a leave a red at distance. Hendry, amazingly enough, has got eight out of eight long pots today, which is unbelievable considering how many times he's missed in the balls. So we've had 13 long pots, 10 from Hendry, three from Robertson, all got. The one thing he's also done is he's not really tinkering too much with his cue action at the minute. He's had, you know, three or four different people who he's worked with over the last couple of seasons, and I think. You know, you can get con conflicting views from various people who like to see the game played a certain way. And I think, you know, Stephen basically needs to get that all away. He said himself he's had chaos in his mind about it. And sometimes you just need to go back to basics, work it all out yourself and go and play. Yeah, well, he picked that one out nicely. Let's see what he's going to do next. <laughs> well, Hazel, he's going to do precious little next. Another great plant he's played there. And as is three or four occasions this match so far, after a good pot, he's left himself absolutely nothing. And in actual fact, he's going to have to go for the pot on the black. That's his only shot he's got. Safety's not on. The other shot is illegal, isn't it? Which is to uh, is to hit the green and not the red in. It, effectively illegal, although not too sure how it's perceived. So devious, I never thought of that. That's probably a, a better chance than potting this black. 
but he's potted it. What a great played. shot. Well played. Deserved that. What a marvellous pot. 2 1 in front, you'd have fancied him strong, wouldn't you? 2 1 behind, the way the match has gone, that made it a little bit more difficult. Well, neither player hitting the ball exactly as they planned. That safety shot went awry. And here's another chance for Stephen Hendry. Didn't slice that, did he? So this is frame ball. This long pot success rate has gone down quite somewhat. He'd like it to improve after this shot. And it does improve. That's more like the Stephen Henry we know when it's frame ball. He seems to go up a gear when he knows he's going to win the frame with a shot. That was top draw.